I'm Elizabeth Bell from Elizabeth Bell Ceramics. So I started pottery about 10 years ago. I was on my honeymoon in Japan and I found this little place in the hills of Kyoto that were doing one-off taster classes like what I offer now. It's always something I had wanted to try. I've always been into creative avenues, but I've never found something that has really taken over like pottery has for me. I find pottery the best way for me to zone out and the mental load of being a mother, it really takes away from all that. And it's really my escape from everyday life, even though this is my business and my work. Yeah, pottery for me is absolutely a way to zone out. It's very meditative. I love coming up with an idea and following it through to a finished product and having someone else pick up that product and hold it, love it, enjoy it, use it for years to come is something that I find really special. My pottery journey has definitely evolved from hobby to taking over my entire life. It certainly started as a hobby and just something I really enjoyed and from there it's gone from hobby to lifestyle, it's gone from hobby to business. It just brings me so much joy to come to work and make and create and zone out and just have a great time. Typically it starts from like inspiration from maybe another product that's not ceramic. Yeah, typically it'll start from another idea that I'll, that might even evolve over time. Maybe with mugs, for example, say I'm onto my fourth mug. They started off round, now they're square. I used to have a different shaped handle. So over time, things just change as they go. I'll change the design every couple of years or my glazes will change every couple of years. Yeah, I try and find inspiration from other products that aren't ceramic and make them my own and try and not do what other, other potters are doing. I really just love making, I love getting on the wheel, making things. So sometimes I do find the extra things that go along with it all, you know, the glazing, the administration around a business, challenging. I just wanna be on the wheel every day. But then also my body can't handle being on the wheel every single day, so I do, I know that I do need to like mix things up. So I usually have like one big making day a week and then the rest will be trimming, glazing, admin, loading the kilns, doing student staff. Yeah, the building has changed a lot about the way I can make for the business. At my old studio, I had limited space to actually display pieces, whereas here I have so much room. I feel like my pieces that I make are rustic, but also timeless. feel like you get the same kind of vibe from the building. It's rustic, beautiful, it's been used and enjoyed and loved. We offer pottery classes that range from taster classes, which are a one-off, two-hour, come and give it a go, really fun sort of style, to a six-week term class. We offer workshops, which usually hone in on a particular style of making. And then we'll also often offer masterclasses. So that might be glazing, throwing big teapots, littered vessels. And we have a really nice community that comes in for our term classes. They're typically people like myself, mums, with a couple of young kids that are trying to get away from their family. And for them, pottery is their night. It's their night off. It's where they get to come and zone out have a nice time, have a chat with some friends, um, have a cup of tea and make some nice pots. It's just a nice way to zone out, get away from it all. I would say that people who, who are familiar with my work know they'll be able to pick it out from a crowd. I'm not afraid of using colour, which some ceramic artists, they just go all white. I like finding colours that are typically complementary in nature, but maybe clash in other ways, like pinks and greens, those kind of things. I think when people see my work, they are typically drawn to colour, or they're drawn to the fact that they're functional and that they can be used and enjoyed. And 
you get a different feeling from a, a mug of mine versus one from Kmart, for example. You know it's handmade, it's got a bit more soul. The advice I'd give to someone who was keen to come and do some pottery is just, just come and do it, just come and have some fun. It's, you know, don't take it too seriously, come and enjoy a class. Don't expect that you're gonna make something fabulous on your first go because you're probably not. It's definitely a learned skill, you know, it takes a lot of time to, to grasp the basics, but once you have the skills down pat, then it all just flows from there. And that's probably when it becomes more of that meditative sort of state that you can make the pots, but you don't actually have to think about what you're making, it kind of just happens. It just, it fulfills so many avenues in my life, like it's, it pays my mortgage. And that's something I do like to talk about because not many artists do. You know, this is the reality of it, that you actually make money from it. I like talking about that because not a lot of people do. It's my me time, which is really important. If I don't get to come and make pots and come to work, then I literally don't get a second on my own. It's my quiet time. It's basically an escape from a busy world. Yeah. There you go. Ha, 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 ha.